Lucy, go to the studio. Go, go on. That's, that's not the right way. Come on, let's go. Hi. Are we in the studio? Do you want to open a kiln? Do you want to open a kiln? Happy Saturday morning. This is kiln alloy number nine. Um, we're doing it really quickly. I want to get it out to you today. Doing it off the phone. Hope you appreciate the raw format. If it's your first time with us, happy to have you. Uh, all right. Uh, this is a glaze kiln, a couple of glaze, a couple of tests. Um, and I'm hoping to have a sale before Christmas. Um, depending on what I get from these results, if I feel comfortable. I don't want to push the work out into the world if it's not good enough. But if results are good, um, then keep posted for a sale um, in the next week or so. All right. First things first, this is the tiny mug. You guys saw this in the video. Look at it. Little tiny black, like Cheerio size handle. Turned out pretty well. There's the foot. Tiny mug. Um, that was just a test for a different clay body. Ooh, this looks nice. Different handle shape. Uh, this is a bigger shape mug than I've been doing in the past. Mostly clear. This is Kittens Clear for those of you who uh, know your clear glazes. Different white liner, Odyssey White, I found online. Working on that. Turned out pretty good, I like this. Uh, zigzag mug, just a matte black test, it's okay. You guys hear my toddler? This is an uh, AV, AV base, I'm not sure if you found a glazy.org, turquoise color. It's kind of nice. Same base with, um, it's called Persian Blue, the AV base from glazy.org. This is my new Cone 5 porcelain clay body. It might be Cone 6 now. I've added some silica to increase the firing range and add more kaolin instead of ball clay. Here's a tumbler for you. Look at this. So look at this, guys. It's like a Cone 5, 6, like very like vitrified, almost translucent uh, clay body. It's almost shiny by itself. This is raw. All raw clay. Black, white, and red clay. Porcelain. All raw. There's the foot. I love the feet on these tumblers. A couple of cone packs. Five just started to bend, so it might be a little under fired. I'll have to see how the other row turned out. Tile test, nothing to report there. I'm also experimenting with uh, like firing small shaved chips that I can maybe, I'm not really sure. So we're always doing crazy stuff here in the studio. Besides the typical, you know, glazes and things that I do. We've got only four things here. A little Superman tumbler here. Oh yeah, I do like this clay a lot. It feels really good. Pretty vitrified, almost glossy by itself, right? This has some trimming lines. I wasn't super dedicated or invested in this piece. I liked it fine. When I was done trimming it, I was just like, eh. But this liner, this is a nice white liner. Odyssey white, it's cone five, cone six glaze. It's pretty much as is. It's, it's like a glossy white. It's a little bit opaque. Mm, yeah, this shelf is much better. Yep. So I definitely need to probably fire this to cone six. I think my clay body can handle it. Yeah, that's nice. This is probably the best piece in here. Listen to this. Pretty vitrified, probably can go more. There's the foot. Little twisted tumbler, a lot of agate wear in here. Mostly agate wear. Then my, my daughter actually glazed these last two pieces. So if you're curious, I'll show you these last two. Um, they're, they're pieces that I made with her. She had her hands in the wheel, kind of a fun experience. Wow, that ran a lot, I'll have to knock that off. This was a blue outside, a blue inside. Probably too much application. We gotta work with her on application of glazes. This is this AV Persian base. Probably not enough as well. Oh, maybe she layered it though. That's what it was. It was a it was a clear whitish opaque glaze with blue on top. So that makes sense for the outside. Inside. Go. And then here's her cup that she made. This is her very first cup. She wanted blue and green. I think she's gonna love it. 
Look at this. Maybe I'll put her in the video, or at least you can hear her reaction to it. That's it, everybody. Um, thanks for watching. Look out, um, be on the lookout for a sale next week. Oh, I'll show you one more piece. Here's what's coming out of the kiln in the near future. Nara call me blue flame mugs. Fisk wear right now. New handle. New foot. So if you're interested in something like this, I will probably, if I'm going to post a sale at all, I'll give you a heads up on Thursday next week for a kiln loading, all right? Take care. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Now, Lucy, let's go outside. Come on. This is your cup that you made. Do you like it? Yeah. Here. What do you think? Blue and green. Blue and green, yeah. Do you want to drink out of it? Yeah. Okay. You happy? Yeah. Maggie, how do you cone? Show us how you how cone. How did you cone the cup? Up and down. How did you open it? Good job. Good job. True Potter's kid. We <laughs> did.